Yo, what's up guys, it's Don here and after five years of using the same microphone on the channel, I think it's time for an upgrade. And what a better time to upgrade than on the launch of Cougar Gaming's new Screamer X microphone, specifically made for streamers and content creation with a whole bunch of other people in mind as well, such as musicians. But this mic has so much to offer and I'm going to show you what it's got. Alright, so I think the first thing we need to do is get in the box, because uh, we need to see what this thing looks like. That's the big factor. Ooh. There it is. Alright, so first things first, we need to get inside the box and see what the microphone even looks like. So, here we go guys. As soon as you open the box, you are greeted with the microphone itself and the stand so you have the stand very heavy base for the stand with rubber feet and rubber inserts inside there for vibration cancellation and then we have the mic itself the mic is very light which is nice for boom arms because i am going to be putting this on a boom arm but this just slides into the stand like that and that's all there is to it also inside the box, instruction manual, cables, and uh, a microphone, ah, a Velcro cable tie. And that's about all that's in the box. So what I like about the microphone is that it is on type C, which is very nice that it's not, um, the old square USB, which a lot of microphones still are, or that it's not uh, XLR mic, then I don't know if they have an audio DAC and interface, it's just USB plug and play on type C. So looking at the microphone, it does come with its own pop filter and the microphone is stacked with features such as on the fly muting on the top button here. Um, the base pad for the microphone, if you are going to use it, is RGB and has a USB pass through. Um, you can also change the colors on the base pad. Let me actually plug that in and show you. Bam! RGB. So, yeah, the base pad does have RGB and it has a USB pass-through. The microphone has a lot of settings, so I'm going to actually take the pop filter off to show you what the mic looks like. That is the size of the entire microphone. And on the front of the microphone, you have on-the-fly settings for your gain for how you want the microphone to operate, whether you want it to be cardioid, shotgun, bi-directional or omnidirectional. It has all of those features on the fly settings to have the microphone like that. And it has a headphone pass through with the volume for the headphones on the front of the mic, which is gonna be absolutely awesome for streamers. Um, on the bottom, it has active noise reduction, which you can switch on and off on the microphone. And it also comes included with a adapter, which is very nice that you don't need to get one. A thread adapter for different tripods or boom arms. So the microphone and the stand both use USB type C, which is very nice on the new generation of stuff, not using the old USB connector or proprietary connectors like some microphones do. So it's super easy to swap out your cables, get longer cables or change them up, especially that you can just go type C to type C cables. You can have very nice long ones for your mic. Although the included one is quite a decently long cable. I mean, it's pretty long, which is gonna be very nice that you don't have to worry about um, cable length because a problem with a lot of microphones, especially with USB ones, if you have a boom arm, the cable isn't long enough to run with the boom arm down and into your PC. So sometimes that's an issue with this, it shouldn't really be. And like I said, it's type C, it's a generic connector. You can get along the cable if needs be. So the base does have RGB and it has a button on it to cycle through what effects you want, or if you just want static colors, just a bunch of generic normal colors and then three or off. And then there's three, there's the rainbow. I think there's cycle and then there's breathe. So it does have three different uh, RGB modes to cycle through all the colors. 
and then you can have whatever static color you want to match your uh, your setup. So the microphone has a removable pop filter, which is very nice, um, but you don't actually have to use it because it has an internal pop filter as well. So having the outside one and the inside one on, I mean, you, you got some double pop filter action going here, which is very nice if you're a very P's and B's kind of guy. Uh, so we'll be testing that out. So a nice feature for a microphone or for any streamer or any content creator, especially a gamer, is a hot mute button. And what better place to have it than right on top of the microphone that I do believe this ring goes red on the microphone if you mute it. I'll we'll show you a clip of that. But on the top of the microphone, you just press it and it will mute the entire microphone and a big red ring does show around it showing that your microphone is muted. Very nice having a hot key mic mute on the mic right there in a convenient place. All right, so we have swapped over to the microphone. This is what you're hearing right now is the audio quality from the Screamer X microphone. I'm just gonna go through some of the settings that it has. For example, it has gain in front. So if you're being a little bit soft for your stream or your game's very loud, you can increase it to be quite loud. Um, so that's very nice just having to change the mic's volume um, on the fly then the settings like I said so right now we are on cardioid we can go to shotgun so with cardioid it picks up a lot of audio but right behind it it is very muffled so from the side to the front you will be picking up audio it then has shotgun shotgun is pretty much face on as soon as you go to the side audio very muffled and no audio from the back it then has bi-directional audio which means if you go from the side you can hear it in the right ear and if you go from the left you can hear it in the left ear okay so that is what bi-directional sounds like and then we have the omnidirectional setting where this is more for podcasts where you could put the microphone in the middle of a table and it will pick up all directions and that is what it will sound like now also if you want to be a streamer and you want to have a super clicky keyboard and you want people to hear that this will also be a nice feature but it is going to pick up all the sound in your room including your pcs and your fans and your acons but you can be one of those those streamers you can be one of them don't don't be one of them so, uh another feature of it like i said it is going to be picking up a lot of uh noise in your room your pcs your acons your fans um but it does have a little switch at the bottom of the microphone that does the active noise cancellation a little orange mic will uh it's it's very hectic so you can hear right now this is the active noise cancellation it does work very well uh, but it is very very aggressive so you can hear it working uh i'm gonna go back to another mode this is um now the uh cardioid like you would normally use the mic as a streamer or maybe even shotgun the there is no noise whatsoever. You're only hearing my voice, but it is very aggressive with it being on and off. So if you like it, and if you're in noisy environments, this is gonna be absolutely amazing for you. If you're not in such a noisy environment, you are gonna be able to hear what I'm hearing right now with it kicking in quite harshly. But again, it's just a feature there. And I mean, if you don't like it, you can switch it off and just carry on like that. Then another nice feature is so the quick mute does work very nicely. Um, you just press it, light goes red, mic stops working, but what's was really nice is the audio pass through does still continue working. It doesn't mute everything on the mic. It just mutes the um, microphone itself, not the audio pass through. Very nice touch. So the microphone is certified to be working with uh, PlayStation 5 which is really nice so it does work with next gen consoles I'm not sure if it does work with next generation Xbox consoles yet I'm sure that they will test that out and try and figure out a way to get that to work but as of right now it does work with PlayStation 5 and it does work with Mac PC and laptops of course so that is a very nice feature of this mic so hopefully with next generation consoles and these mics um, no more lovely headset microphones anymore on consoles which is going to be a really nice touch especially for people that stream off of their playstation 5s and next gen consoles so what's nice about the active or the on the microphone gain is some people like me i like sitting very close to my mic when i'm streaming this is normally how i would be sitting by my mic 
right in front of it because I just like the way that that sounds. It makes your voice a little bit deeper and a little bit more rich and clear. But some people like having their mics away from them. They don't like it in their face. So if you have your boom, your mic on a boom arm over your monitor and maybe in the corner, that's the way you like it. That's the way you like having it set up. It's more comfortable. You can always increase the gain to then be able to compensate for the distance of the mic being away from you, which is a very, very nice touch than if you have it right up front against your mouth, you just turn the gain down and you're back to where you started. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little showcase of the new Cougar Screamer X microphone. I'm super, super keen to hop on stream and start using this mic. Absolutely love all the features. It's a big upgrade from our old mic and I think it sounds absolutely fantastic, which is obviously the most important part of the microphone is it sounding good. Um, it looks absolutely amazing. It matches the setup flawlessly. Um, all the features, I mean, there's features that I haven't even talked about the microphone on this video that I'll just discuss uh, on live streams and as I progress with using the mic because this is going to be my first time actively using the mic on stream and in videos. So super keen and super excited to be seeing what I can do with this mic. Hopefully it lasts me the next five years and, and until then, I hope you guys have an amazing day further. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I will, of course, see you guys in the next one. Until then. Adios guys, I'm Adi.